Hey guys, uh, so this is just a quick video showing you how to launch the visual profiler that NVIDIA provides for free through the CUDA Toolkit 9 package. Now, the CUDA Toolkit 9 package is basically a, 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 a platform for you to get up and running and coding for your graphics processor unit. In my case, I have a GeForce 1080 Ti um, graphics card, and I'm slowly learning my way through all the ways of coding it and tracking the performance with the visual, visual profiler. So if you're interested in learning how to install or get, get programming uh, CUDA on a Windows-based environment, uh, go to cudaeducation.com, that's C-U-D-A education.com, uh, and uh, you will see a post there that basically walks you through the process. It's, it's the only way I've done it, and so it's the only thing I could talk about. So anyway, uh, once you've installed the CUDA Toolkit 9, you know, there should be the Visual Profiler installed also. And what you do is you just go to your Windows search thing and you type in Visual Profiler. Now, I'm not sure in my case why I have this logo here, because this is the Eclipse logo, not the Visual Profile logo that I know, but I'm not asking any questions. So you just click it and you open it up. Uh, workspace, I just leave it as it, as it is. Um, I click open. So pretty much this is the window uh, that you're welcomed with. Now, to actually have the profiler run your application and um, you know, give you some analysis and data on it, uh, what you do is you go to File, Open, and then you basically navigate to the .exe file of your application. Now, uh, take note very carefully of the directories that it uses. Um, it's, you know, source, users, you know, my source, repos, then this is the name of your project. And then it, you know, you go x64, um, I guess, because it's a 64-bit Windows or whatever. Then go to debug and uh, just choose all files. Now, when you choose all files, you're going to see the 19.exe. The 19 is the, the, the name of my project. So you open it up. It gives you a whole bunch of options, which I'm not fully <laughs> familiar with, but you just go uh, next, finish. And then what it's doing is it's running the, the application. Now, um, in my case, I have a, a pretty big application, so it's not um, it's not going to uh, you know finish anytime soon. But yeah, you know while while we're at it, while it's it's doing the pro processing, um, you know this is pretty much where you sort of see all of the analysis of what's going on. You have the GPU details, CPU details. You have analysis, etc. Um, here is where you can also find, for example, the occupancy rate of uh, the cores, the percentage rate of the cores on the GPU, which is more of an advanced topic. But, you know, what happens is that the, the, the general workflow is you, you write your application, you run it, and then you have the NVIDIA Visual Profiler give you data on its performance, including how long the application took to run, what processes are running, what kernels, uh, what threads, how many blocks, et cetera, et cetera. And then you tweak your application to basically make it run faster, right? So um, this right here, uh, I think I could close this. All right, this right here gives you um, an overview of all all the things that happened in the application. So I guess if you hit on this process thing, it, it says it took 76 seconds for the, the application to run. Um, you could also, no, it's kind of weird, but you could also click on these different things to see, get more information. But in order to do that, it's, it's, it's going to run again and then hold up the whole process, which you know, you could do 
it's not a problem, but um, it's, uh, you know, so, you know, you could go through the threads, um, all of this stuff here. And then you see, I click on examine GPU and it's, um, it's going to redo it again. So the way how, from what I understand, the way how visual profiler works is you, um, it, it, it runs it multiple times, uh, you, or you can set it to run it, run multiple times and, and focus on different aspects of the application. Um, so you get better metrics. So it's not that necessarily you just run it once and it gives you all the data. It, it might run it 20, 30 times or so and give you the data as you need it. Um, uh, you know, focusing on, on specific things. So I'm new to this game and um, I'm just trying to help the masses understand CUDA programming and get up to speed. Uh, once this finishes, okay, so you can see it gives you a whole bunch of um, suggestions. So the amount of time performing compute is low relative to the amount of time required, low kernel concurrency, all this stuff, right? You could click on compute utilization and then it gives you a whole bunch of other metrics. And I think down here, Let's see. Oh, this guy. Right, so you click here, and then this. This tells you the occupancy, achieved occupancy, 78.4, theoretical is 100%. So occupancy is um, another metric that you have to follow um, in terms of getting your application to run faster. So it gives you all kinds of different things to grid size, block size, registers per thread, launch type, all that stuff. So as I get deeper into this thing, I will uh, share more with you, but that's where I'm at right now. So hopefully this gets you up and running with the NVIDIA Visual Profiler. Uh, please visit CUDAeducation.com. That's C-U-D-A-E-D-U-C-A-T-I-O-N.com. Uh, donate. Um, and also you could check me out on Twitter at, at CUDAeducation. All right, guys. Hope this helps. Have a great day.